Motor fraud is a growing problem for insurers, from dodgy applications for cover and exaggerated claims by the man in the street to the increasing threat of organised crime. David, how big is the problem and do you see insurers and other bodies winning the fight? Well, I think the first thing is part of the problem is a lot of people don't see fraud really as a crime. And according, for example, to a recent survey by the ABI, a lot of people, when asked about inflated claims, say, well, it's no worse than stealing a hotel towel. So that's part of the problem. That's quite shocking, David. Martin, how does that stack up in terms of numbers? Well, in other ABI research on the scale of fraud, they uncovered somewhere in the region of 1.1 billion of fraud claims were lodged in 2012. And that's a 10% increase on 2011. Martin, what do you think is behind this increase? Well, the biggest factor is organised fraud, whereby gangs stage increasingly sophisticated incidents, often leading the innocent drivers to believe they were at fault. That, and of course, false claims like personal injury and whiplash. So David, what are insurers doing about this? Well, it's a, it's a bit of a battle, but as the gangs get more sophisticated, so does the response by the insurers. And there are a lot of really good initiatives going forward. And a lot of money is going into fighting this work, with, with, I have to say, quite a lot of success. That's excellent. So big data seems to be the buzzwords in insurers' fight against fraud right now. How does that work? Well, in simple terms, there are very sophisticated analy analytics and other systems uh, where people look at their claims and the insurers can look for trends and things that will stand out as usual and flag a case up as a potential fraud. So they, they can do that right early on. Martin, turning to you for a moment, how does armour intelligence fit into this equation? Well, whilst there are a lot of clever things that people are doing with big data, there's only so much that they can do. This is why many insurers are increasingly using the two-pronged approach in the fight against fraud. Please explain. Well, when you take the big data, it's very effective in its initial identification of fraud, but where there's any sort of doubt, there needs to be a human element to the response, and this is where armour intelligence can come in. David, back to you. What does armour intelligence do that big data can't? Well, they start by using open source, but they go beyond the obvious sources, and they get out on the ground, and they use well-established, well-experienced techniques to establish the truth. Quite often, the, the, the claims that they're looking at will prove to be valid, and quite not fraudulent at all. But that's also useful because by getting out there quickly, it means the insurers can pay those valid claims more quickly. It keeps the customers happier, better customer experience, but it also leads to reduced claims against the insurance company because they can settle more quickly and reduce on costs such as credit hire. Gentlemen, thank you for your time. It seems the two-pronged approach where your people provide proof is the way to go.